Hey everybody, this is Joel with Velo Guide. Welcome to our channel. I'm talking to you from Bucerias, Mexico, where we're giving away another $150 gift certificate to the bike-friendly business of your choice. And remember, on September 28th, that's the big draw. We're giving away a trip for two, airfare included, to beautiful Bucerias, Mexico. We're gonna come spend a week with us here and do some incredible cycling, discover some amazing culture, eat some interesting and fantastic food. Bottom line, you're gonna have a great time. If you like what VeloGuide represents, if you love what we're doing, and hey, it's all about cycling, it's all about connecting people. And in these crazy times, we need that connection back. Oh, there's, I can't think of a better way to do it than on the bike. Before I announce this week's winner, well, I'm gonna actually announce this week's winner because it's kind of ironic. She is a Velo Guide in Milwaukee. Kelly Lambeth, congratulations. You won a $150 gift certificate to the bike-friendly business of your choice. And I know you have a lot of bike-friendly businesses in Milwaukee. What an incredible place to ride and a really fun, cool city. Are you thinking of a staycation uh, close by if you live in the US? Milwaukee's a great place to go. So watch this video, let us know what you think. Comment below and please hit that like button and the other thing you need to do is hit subscribe and tag the notification because on September 28th, we're giving away that trip or two to Mexico again. And the only way you're gonna be notified is by way of these videos. So until next week, next weekend, we'll be giving away another $150. We're doing that every week until the grand prize. And again, stay tuned for the 28th of September for the grand prize. My name is Kelly and I'm a Velo Guide here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So Milwaukee is great for cycling because you can get a little mix of everything. You can do some urban riding and be downtown, but then if you want to get out into the suburbs and do more road riding, it only takes five miles to get out of the city and then you're completely surrounded by quiet, smoothly paved roads with some hills, mostly flat, but there's areas for challenges. I have a great metric century route that takes us down to Racine. You can see the lighthouse, does a loop of the beautiful golf course, and then you can even see the beaches of Racine. My favorite ride in Milwaukee is usually around 40 or 45 miles. Starts off with coffee, make a stop for um, a beer along the way, and then ending with a really good burger. One thing that I think is really cool about the entire Velo Guide project is it's really accessible and it can be customizable to your ability level, your taste, your time frame, and there's so many different locations around the world that if you're in town for a business trip and you want to get out on your bike, you can do it. I personally ride in Milwaukee year-round. We have four seasons, all climates. So I'll ride in 90 degrees, humid, heat, rain, and then I'll even ride in the winter time when it's zero degrees out. I'm really involved in the cycling community here in Milwaukee, especially riding with women. I'm very passionate about getting women out on their bikes and teaching them new skills, um, showing them rider etiquette, and I think being a Velo Guide will just give me more opportunity to do that. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and toggle that little notification bell.